Hi everyone, Gary here from Drymatic Australia. Well, this is a structural video on our Drymatic boost bar. So we've got it connected to an air mover. Okay, we've got the fan to boost, boost bar connector. And then this is our boost bar. So this is a little bit about how to use the screen. Okay, I'm gonna try my best here and show you what it's about. So we've got machine stopped at the top. We've got zero watts. 0W, and then there's a cross there, and behind that cross is a fan. The reason why there's a cross there, because it's, the fan's not on right now. Then we've got our air in temperature, and our air out temperature. So the air going in, and then the air coming out. The total hours it's run, so it's run for two hours, and it's had three kilowatt hours. So this is maximum machine if you've got really fast fan, um, it is running at 1800 watts, it's 1 1.8 kilowatts, and that means it's 1.8 kilowatts per hour. So, let's say if it was running at 1 kilowatt an hour, run for 5 hours, it should be 5 kilowatts, but this is 1.8 maximum, so it should be 3.6 kilowatts at 2 hours. We don't do the 0 0.6, so it's, it's just 3 until it gets to 4. Okay, so it rounds it off. Then we've got the play button, we've got the stop button, we've got the graph. So if we click on the graph, we can graph what we've done in the last seven days. Okay, and we got our exit button here. Then we've got our lock button, so we can actually lock the machine, you know, and the code is one, two, three, four. Very hard to remember. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we've got our settings button here. So let's check on our settings button. Okay, so it says maximum air off. So it won't go over 50. You can have it set for 30 with dehumidifiers or 32 or 38 or 41 or whatever temperature you like. Maximum current says 13 amps. Now this is a UK screen, so it won't be doing 13 amps. It'll do a maximum 7.8 and it's under degrees Celsius. So... We need to work out if we've got power where we say we've only got four or five amps of power, we can click on this and actually go, we want to go minus five and now we're, let's say minus five, minus one, minus one, minus one. We're now on five amps. And then when we tick this, now our maximum current is five amps. Okay, so once it reaches five amps, it'll depower the unit. So we can go back and click it back to default. So we go plus 10, 13. Okay, that's the maximum we've got. Now, this is our reset button. So if we press this reset button, are you sure you want to reset the kilowatt hours? Yes, and the data in the graph will go yes. Okay, so we've reset it. We've got our total hours here that it's run. And, and our total kilowatt hours that it's run and its serial number, okay? Now, if we go back here and we tick this, you see our hours run and our kilowatt hours are back to zero. So you want to reset that, set that on every single job. You want to reset that on every single job, okay? So let's, let's run through here a little bit about how this works. So let's turn the fan on. I'm running and I turn on low, low, just because, so I can talk, okay? So what you'll find with this, if I press machine running, what you'll find there's still a cross over that um, wattage there. Now this is a very low powered fan on low, so we, we won't get a huge wattage coming out of this. But it's great to demonstrate here because I can hear myself and you can hear me. So right now it's gone machine running and that little red cross has disappeared. So from there, you hear that little click? What happens there is you've got one bank of heaters have just turned on. So by turning that one bank of heaters on, you've got three banks there. By turning that on, soon we'll have a kilowatt, uh, a wattage there that'll come up. At the moment it says zero. There we go, it's 908 watts. Now our second bank of heaters is turned on every 40 seconds. Right, it'll go up to about 12 or 1300. There we go. What's that? Very close, 11.95. And then it's gonna click on again. 
There's our third bank of heaters is clicked on. Fourteen hundred and fifteen watts. Now that's not too bad, considering it's uh, a pretty low-powered fan. It might go up a little bit. It'll go to eighteen hundred watts, and then it'll probably depower down a little bit from there. There you go. Sixteen hundred and seventy-nine watts. Now what I want to do, we've got our air in temperature at 20 and our air out at 25. So we've got a five, still 26, we've got a six degree gain. Okay, so it's sucking in at 20 and coming out at 26. Now what I want to do is show you something really, really important about the safety feature of this unit. I'm going to turn this fan off. So right now, I'll hold this camera a little bit steadier. I'll turn this fan off and you watch what happens. Right now, it still says machine running. Just watch the temperature going on here. Now the wattage has dropped down to 1,521, but it's coming out at 28 degrees. Just keep watching. So if the customer ever turns your fan off, whoa, it's dropped down to 943 watts. And the temperature's gone up to 30. Oh, just click that. You hear the relay? It's turned the fan off and it's still depowering because it's gone, I can't find a fan, I'm going to turn off. Okay? So I can't find a fan, I'm going to turn off. And you will find that that wattage there, there we go, it's gone back to zero. Okay? So, a little bit about how the Drymatic Boost Bar works. That's all of the, um, there's another video there about all of the attachments, the instructional video. So, check us out, Drymatic Australia, drymatic.com.au for further information about any of our products. Thanks for watching.